I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 more mind-blowing future predictions that actually came true. Twenty-five. Batting a thousand as a psychic, Michael Lee says he had a dream way back in 1993 that prompted him to write as his senior yearbook quote, Chicago Cubs 2016 World Champions. You heard it here first. As you probably know, that's exactly what happened this year. 24. In 1999, Cowboy Bebop, a popular anime based in the future, aired episodes with a plot involving an antique spacecraft named Columbia being used in a rescue mission. The mission almost fails because the heat-resistant tiles peeled off during the mission. Then, in 2003, the real Space Shuttle Columbia disintegrated after its heat-resistant tiles peeled off during launch. 23. As a definitive pop culture source in regards to future progress, Back to the Future 2 nailed a few futuristic technologies. We don't have functioning flying cars yet, or hoverboards that work universally, but we definitely have the video calling, biometric scanners, including door locks shown in the movies, and digital payment via Apple slash Android Pay and Square. They were also only a year off on predicting the Cubs winning the World Series. 22. Ray Kurzweil is a professional futurist who has a stunning 89 out of 108 technology predictions completely correct. Granted, it's his job, but when you're right almost 90% of the time, that's pretty darn impressive. In his books, he has accurately predicted the rise and use of ebooks, nanomachines, the cloud, and wireless internet in general, but it doesn't stop with technology. He also predicted the timing of events, such as the fall of the Soviet Union and when a computer bested a human at chess. 21. Back in 1987, Apple released a video about the future of computing called Knowledge Navigator. It features a touchscreen device, digital personal assistant, the Knowledge Navigator, a Bill Nye style man, and video calling. Amazingly, the date is depicted as September 16, 2011 which is only about 18 days off from all of those features having been available in phone slash tablet format. 20. In 1993, AT&T put out a series of commercials called You Will, highlighting a number of technologies that did indeed come true. Most notably, integrated GPS a year before the satellite network was even activated, and a good 10 years before phones were able to utilize it. They also feature a pretty similar Android-style tablet with pen and broadband video calling in a style typically used today. 19. In 1903, H.G. Wells published a short story called The Land Ironclads. Wells essentially took the concept of naval ironclad ships and adapted them to land use as huge metal vehicles with eight pairs of wheels allowing a great range of motion. It wasn't until 1916, 13 years later, that the military first deployed the earliest tanks. 18. In 1953, Ray Bradbury published Fahrenheit 451, a dystopian novel maybe we should worry a bit that these are all coming true, that describes the outlaw slash burning of all books. Instead, people digest mass media via tiny seashells that are placed in their ears and receive radio signals. Especially now that we have wireless ear pods, the description is startlingly accurate. 17. Arthur C. Clarke's 2001 A Space Odyssey <clears throat> Arthur C. Clarke's 2001 A Space Odyssey describes the newspad, its interface and its access to electronic newspapers from Earth in 2001. The description from 1968 is so spot on that it's been effectively used by Samsung to defend against patent lawsuits from Apple. Samsung claims that the concept for the device existed well before even Apple did. 16. In 1967, a video, oh sorry, <clears throat> in a 1967 video called 1999 AD, Philco Ford paints an impressively accurate picture of modern technology. It highlights a married couple with cringe-worthy and prehistoric gender roles, utilizing very real current-day technologies such as online shopping, email, and bill pay via internet. When unearthed, it was so accurate that people claimed it must be a hoax, but it's been proven several times over. 15. In 1909, Edward Morgan Forrester wrote The Machine Stops, a short story in which people primarily communicate using digital screens. 
and the rarity of face-to-face -face interactions makes it increasingly awkward. Further, he described knowledge and ideas as being shared by a system that links every home. All this before radio was even a mass medium. 14. On June 8, 1949, George Orwell published his would-be iconic version of a dystopian future in which three superstates were constantly at war and the general population was highly regulated and controlled. A large part of that frightening reality is one that actually hits close to reality now, state surveillance. Big Brother was always watching in the book, and with satellite cameras, public cameras, and, very likely, the Secret Service actually listening, the modern reality is strikingly close to how Orwell described it. 13. In 2013, there were a total of 25 Golden Globe categories, ranging from Best Picture to Best Sound. Even with a ton of industry knowledge and complex algorithms at your command, the odds of correctly predicting every category are probably somewhere around winning the lottery, twice, with the same numbers. Nevertheless, Atlanta Shepard did exactly that, and nobody else has managed a repeat since. 12. The Simpsons own a large number of predictions that came to pass. A future episode titled Lisa's Wedding aired in 1995 and made some extremely accurate projections about future developments, including vending machines accepting credit cards, motion-controlled video games, and the health food industry's obsession with soy-based snacks. 11. John Brunner's 1968 book, Stand on Zanzibar, features a popular American leader named President Obomi in 2010 who happens to be African. The book also features homosexuality as mainstream and terrorism as a major theme, among other things. 10. General Billy Mitchell gained notoriety for the success of his flight programs against the Germans in World War I, after which he went on record in 1925 predicting a future aerial attack. Attack will be launched as follows. Bombardment, attack to be made on Ford Island in Pearl Harbor at 7.30 a.m. Attack to be made on Clark Field, Philippines at 10.40 a.m. 9. In 1989's The Real Frank Zappa book, Frank lays out a plan detailing how to both deliver and charge for music in a digital medium and very accurately lays out the cultural shift in music consumption that wouldn't occur for another decade. Even after the rise of Napster and iTunes, it took another decade for companies to figure out the exact sort of payment system he proposed. 8. In his 1835 novel, Year 4338, Russian novelist Prince Vladimir Odevsky describes with impressive accuracy blogging, status updates, and even instant messaging. All this at least a decade before the telegraph was brought to the public. 7. French Marshal Ferdinand Foch played a major role in many of World War I's campaigns. When the war came to an end, he didn't believe it was truly the end, being quoted as saying, This is not peace. It is an armistice for 20 years. It turns out he was almost exactly right, as the Second World War officially began 20 years and 68 days later. 6. In 1969, the TV show Laugh-In had a segment called News of the Future, which was supposed to be comedy, but got a couple things dead on. They did stories about Ronald Reagan as president in 1988, and another about the Berlin Wall coming down the exact year it actually did in 1989. 5. In his 1931 novel Brave New World, Aldous Huxley describes a mind-altering drug the people of London take in 2540 to retain their sanity. Soma is described as having raised quite the impenetrable wall between the actual universe and their minds. It wasn't until the early 1950s that research into the reality of these sorts of drugs caught on. 4. In 1987, Omni Magazine interviewed famed movie critic Roger Ebert and asked him about the future of television and movie competition. His reply was impressively accurate. We will have high-definition, widescreen television sets with a push-button dialing system to order the movie you want at the time you want it. People will record films on 8mm and will play them back using Laserdisc slash CD technology. 3. In 2014, a Twitter user named Geo tweeted, 2016 World Series, Cubs vs. Indians, and then the world will end with the score tied in Game 7 in extra innings, hashtag apocalypse. Fortunately, the hashtag apocalypse was a joke, but everything else played out exactly as he predicted. 
Unfortunately, he's an Indians fan, so maybe that's what he meant by apocalypse. Two. In a letter written in class about himself and his future, then fourth grader Colin Kaepernick specified that he would go on to a good college, grow up to six foot four, and play for either the 49ers or the Packers. Nailed it. One. In 2000, the Simpsons episode titled Bart to the Future depicts Lisa dressed a lot like Hillary Clinton, having become the president of the US after President Trump and inheriting quite the budget crunch from him having bankrupted the nation. Let's hope that part doesn't come true. Funnily enough, we're filming this on Pretend to be a Time Traveler Day. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.